Hello everyone, welcome to this video. You've heard of Kali Linux, the Swiss army knife for ethical hackers. But what if I told you that you can have Kali Linux running on your Windows machine, Windows 10 or 11, without actually sacrificing usability and performance. That means no dual boot, nothing to do with USBs, just strictly no separate machine required. You've got the same one, it's essentially just a virtual machine. So in this video, we're actually gonna set up Kali Linux on a virtual machine using the latest stack of VMware Workstation Pro, which is actually now available for free for personal use. So you don't actually have to register a license or get a key or anything like that or purchase their premium, whatever. You don't need that. They've basically set it up so that now you can just use it for personal use cases. And obviously your company and you'll, you know, want to set up license keys and stuff like that, licenses, then you can do that. But ultimately in this video, we're just going to strictly stick with personal use cases. We want to install Kali Linux so that we can become a hacker, right? Well, on my channel, I actually do a lot of cybersecurity videos ranging from web application security, teaching people how to pen test websites, but not just that, mobile applications can also be pen tested. But anyways, in this video, we will be installing the latest version of Kali Linux, which is 2024. The latest version of Kali Linux is 2024.4. We will be installing this on VMware Workstation Pro, and I will leave a link in the description below for you to check out and guide yourself through the tutorial. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to walk you through the easiest and fastest way to install Kali Linux on VMware Workstation Pro on your Windows system. So you don't have to have a, another machine or any other requirements. You don't even need to dual boot it. All you need to do is click that run button and you've got Kali Linux running right now. As you can see on my screen, if I actually go to VMware Workstation at the bottom here, you can see I have Kali Linux installed, but it's not what you actually think, you know, you used to actually download the ISO file and have to manually set up the installation. You had to go through the installation process and that was a long that was a long process and that was a pain. So right now you can just click of a button and you can literally start using Kali Linux. It's that simple. So without further ado, let's do it. So the first thing that you want to do is open up your browser and go to this link in the description below. I've left it for you so you can check it out. Don't need to worry about that. This is VMware Workstation Pro, which is now available for free for personal use. Okay. So it's available free for personal use cases. And so I'm going to be going through the installation process with you. So as you can see, if you come down here, you can see that there's VMware Fusion Pro download and there's VMware Workstation Pro download. You want to click this one if you're on a Windows machine. I will not be guiding any Mac users because this isn't a Mac book, right? I'm not installing Kali Linux on a Mac OS machine. And M1 doesn't really support it right now. So let's not focus on that. Let's focus on this here. So what you want to do is just Click it, click on the link, and you will be guided to, you'll be guided to this page. It's called Broadcom. And essentially you would have to actually set up your account. So I'm not gonna go through that process. You can just set it up, set up your username, set up your password, log in, and just download, you know, the download the installation. So once you have that downloaded, and you have that running in the background and installing VMware Workstation Pro, go to the Kali Linux website, kali.org, kali.org. I'll put a link in the description as well. So if we go to download, just click download and we will get to this section on the website. You wanna click virtual machines and then you wanna click on VMware because this is VMware Workstation Pro, right? You don't wanna use VirtualBox because VirtualBox is meh. Right, it's a, it's a little bit lame. Let's let's stick with VMware for now. So now, once we click that, it's gonna go ahead and download it. And I'll tell you what this is in a second. Seven Z file. Now I'll get to that in a second. So you want to just click save. You want to download that. But first, also another thing to make sure that you have is seven zip. So if you don't have this, I'll also leave this in the description below. You just want to go here and just click on this right here. I'll just zoom in so you can see. So just click this. So once you click that, that's gonna go ahead and install. 7-zip, which is just a zip archiver, right? It's just to unpack files and stuff like that. It's kind of like WinRAR. Actually, it's basically like WinRAR. Okay, so now if we go to the downloads, so I actually have a section on my Windows computer called ISO, 
And this is where I keep all my ISO files, you know, uh, any Volnhub machines that I want to, you know, do pen testing with, whatever, practicing. But ultimately, here's the file, right? I've stored it in a specific location for me to access. And all I want to do is just right click, go to 7-zip, and then just click extract to, and then this is just going to extract as a separate folder. And once that happens, I'll show you. So ultimately, let me just cancel this. So let me just show you. I'm going to just get rid of this Kali Linux machine. Completely gone. It, the whole data, everything's been wiped. Okay, so once you have your file that you want to extract, you want to right click and click 7-zip once you have 7-zip installed. And you want to just click extract to and then it's just going to extract as a separate folder. So once you do that, as you can see, it's extracting as a separate folder and this is perfect. So just give it some time, it will load and yeah, and it is done. Okay, perfect. Now what we can do is we want to double click on the folder, go into the folder and just double click on this icon here. It's like a white icon. So let me zoom in. So click on this three square white icon thing. Okay. So double click on that. And essentially what's going to happen is it's going to open that in VMware Workstation Pro. It's literally, it's literally going to open it and now you can run it. So that's pretty awesome. So check this out. So once you've opened it, double clicked on it, you can close this and now you can use Kali Linux. Check this out. Power it on. Now let's go full screen. Actually, we'll just do that first. Perfect. Done. Look. Now we can use it. See, we didn't actually have to go through a lot of installation. We didn't even have to get through an ins installation. It just opened and now it's running. So now the default credentials is Kali and Kali Linux. So just, just Kali. And now there we go. Done. Kali and Kali, you're in. Now you can become an ultimate hacker. You can join Anonymous. You can become an elite hacker, a pro hacker, an ethical hacker, of course. You don't want to do that unethically. But now you can use it. So check this out. You want to remove that. Just, just remove that. I don't like that. And now you're in. Now you can use it. Cool. So what does that mean? Look, check this out. Boom. Now look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Exploitation, SQL map, hacker website. Educational purposes only. <laughs> no, so yeah, no, it works now. Okay. So now, oh, you can also change the background. If you don't like the background, you can change it to this. This looks pretty cool. This looks pretty neat. And if you want other backgrounds, you can just go to the Kali Linux repository. So you can search up Kali Linux backgrounds. And okay, you don't want to go on images. No, don't do that. Go to the Kali Linux repository. Oh, this little repository here. If you come down here, you can see that you can actually install Kali Linux wallpapers. So now, before we even copy this command and run it, what we must do is first, we want to type in this command, sudo apt apt get update and sudo apt get upgrade. And then we can install that, okay? But let's just go through this first. Password's Kali, always remember that. Username is Kali, password is Kali, get in, start hacking. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and also join my Discord community because this is where I show most of the stuff, right? I show a lot of about I show a lot of stuff about, you know, web pen testing, mobile app pen testing, everything to do with cybersecurity related topics. I look into. Right now, it's just going to update the packages. This is what's happening. So if you don't know what's happening here, it's just going to the Kali Linux rolling, so Kali rolling repository, and it's making sure that all the packages are updated and there's no misconfiguration. Because if there was something that was misconfigured, you will get a kernel panic and then it'll break and then Kali Linux won't really work because this is a Linux operating system. So ultimately, the way that you get good at, you know, hacking in general is to actually master Linux. I'll do more Linux tutorials if you like to see that. But right now, we're just focusing on installing Kali Linux so that we can actually use the pre-installed tools for our awesome hacking skills. It's more for ethical purposes, of course. So ethical pen testing, I would suggest you start with Hack the Box. And if you want to get more resource or insight into cybersecurity, you can also check out TriAcme. I'll leave it in the description below for you to check out. But if you are enjoying this video so far, don't forget to leave a like. 
And also comment down below what video you would like to see next. If you've got any questions, let me know. And also join my Discord community to learn more about cybersecurity related topics. All right, so basically it is done. I just need to restart services during upgrades without asking. Yes, but ultimately this should be fine. This will be okay. So right now it's just making sure that all the tools and libraries are up to date on Kali Linux. Wow, I must say that did take a while, but look, it's finished. Now we can actually run this command, which won't take long at all. When we run this command, it would essentially just install all the Kali Linux wallpapers so that we can actually have a, a little bit a spice up with different wallpapers. Now, when this happens, there's actually older versions of Kali Linux wallpapers that will also be available to use as a background, which is pretty cool. All the way back to Backtrack Linux. Man, Backtrack. I've never used it, and I wasn't even using car linux during that time so you'll be able to use the older versions of car linux's wallpaper which is pretty interesting and it's pretty cool to be honest i find it interesting it's what makes your style your theme your pen testing environment you know unique in your own way it's authentic i like it it's pretty cool so as you can see it's just installing the package and that's it, done. Now, watch this, you ready? Right click, desktop settings, background. Look at all this. Look at all these backgrounds that you can choose from. This is backtrack. Let's click that, see, backtrack. Oh, we're not gonna use backtrack. That looks a bit silly. Backtrack, no, no. So it's pretty cool though, to see something like this back in the day. Backtrack Linux, it's pretty awesome. But essentially, we're not gonna focus on that. What we focus on is changing uh, the background to fit our unique style. I mean, this looks kind of cool. I think what would look cooler is something like this. You know, just choose whatever background you want. It really doesn't matter. You know, if you are a wallpaper freak, you know, you like different styles of wallpaper. To, you know, there's nothing wrong with styling wallpaper because it, it's what makes you productive at the end of the day. And I like this. This looks pretty cool. I certainly like this one. This one's also pretty good. I like this simplistic approach. I really do like this type of background style. It's very simplistic. For the sake of this video, I will choose this background. This looks pretty cool though. Anyways, look, we can open up our terminal. We can type in MSF console and we can literally start hacking. It's that simple. Kali Linux is installed. We've gone through that whole process very quickly. Didn't take us that long. And now we can start hacking ethically. Now we can become a true and real ethical hacker. Use multi-handler, uh, set payload to YouTube slash, no, I'm just kidding. No, 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 there's no payload or there's no module for YouTube, the YouTube algorithm. So that was a joke. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll definitely, if you've got any video suggestions, please let me know and I will definitely do one. At the end of the day, it's not about what operating system you have for ethical hacking, but ultimately, can you do it? I like Kali Linux because it's got everything pre-installed. You don't have to worry about manual installation. It's just fast to set up. Look how fast that was. That was pretty cool. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and if you got any video recommendations or suggestions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you and I'll do a video on it. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it with others, and I will see you in the next. Thanks for watching.